take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. There are two missing electrons in the oxygen valence shell. It can therefore only form a maximum of two bonds, if both are sigma bonds. Oxygen is capable of forming two single bonds because on its outer shell it has six valence electrons. Therefore, to be stable, oxygen needs to gain two electrons. Take our lead. The O2 Lewis structure has a double bond between two oxygen atoms. According to the octet rule, oxygen atoms need to bond twice. The O2 molecule is diatomic, meaning that two atoms of the same element are connected in a pair. Let's help you make your mark. A single bond is comprised of two electrons, usually each from different atoms. In the case of oxygen, it has six valence electrons, so is able to form two single bonds, leaving four non-bonding electrons. Make your mark, take our lead. Oxygen can form two single bonds because it has six valent electrons on its outer shell. It is easier for an oxygen atom to accept or share two electrons instead of losing all six to become stable. Remember that stability involves having a filled outer shell. Take our lead. This is false that oxygen atom can form four covalent bonds with up to four other atoms. This can be explained as, a covalent bond is formed between two atoms by sharing their outermost electrons to acquire stability by the molecule. Take our lead. Oxygen tends not to form triple bonds due to formal charge reasons. If oxygen starts with six electrons and forms a triple bond, then it has two lone pair electrons. Using the formal charge formula, six, two plus six halves, equals one. Since oxygen is so electronegative, it'll tend not to have a positive formal charge. Make your mark, take our lead. There are two types of covalent bonds, polar and nonpolar. Nonpolar covalent bonds form between two atoms of the same element or between different elements that share the electrons equally. For example, an oxygen atom can bond with another oxygen atom to fill their outer shells. Take our lead. Normally, oxygen atoms have two bonds and two lone pairs. Usually, chlorine atoms have one bond and three lone pairs. Water has four pairs of electrons and a tetrahedral arrangement of electron pairs is based on the coordination geometry of oxygen. As only two bonded groups remain, two lone pairs exist. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.